welcome back to what is another weekly vlog. So I did say that I was going to start doing these once every week and so far I've been rubbish at doing it but I think it's just more to the point that I've just had a massive backlog of other little videos that I've been doing um, I've been running some amazing giveaways for you all blah 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 and then I don't have any more reasons but I've just not been that great at keeping up to date with a weekly vlog Anyway, this video today is just going to show you a little bit of things I've been up to during the week. Um, the first thing I'm going to mention is that I've had my hair done, so you might notice this um, from my other videos. I went to a salon in Lee called Riley Den Home, I think that's the way you pronounce it, um, and I got a good two inches chopped off and I went for a bit of a balayage look as well. So I had to have a bit of a darker root that has been painted on. It's a bit of a warmer brown at the root and then more of an ashier lighter blonde through the lengths and I also got a little bit done underneath as well. I absolutely love it, it's so cool, it's so fresh, it's so bright, it's cleaner, um, it's an ashier blonde and yeah I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy with it. The lady that did my hair, Rachel, um, she was fantastic, she really knew her stuff about hair and um, she gave me some lovely little products to take home as well to care for my hair afterwards and yeah I, I'm loving it. I go on holiday tomorrow to Portugal um, so I know now that I've got fabulous hair for my holiday. Another thing that I've been up to in the last week or so is I've been getting myself new glasses. Um, and that's super exciting for me because I'm a contact lens wearer and I tend to wear my glasses um, probably about 10 days of the month and wear contact lenses about 20 days. Um, contact lenses are really expensive, like so expensive. Um, I'm not really a fan of wearing glasses because I always think they don't suit me. Um, but I went to Specsavers in Manchester Arndale. And I use this really cool new thing that they've got going on in their store. So it's basically an in-store frame styler. Um, so what it is, is it's a device that when you go in, it takes a photo of you and you turn your head right and you turn your head left. And it takes like a full span of your face um, and then anal analyzes your face shape and what frames suit you. So how cool is that? You actually get to see a big list of all the frames that they have in store that suit your face shape. I'm going to be putting a blog together about my whole experience with the in-store frame styler because the team at Manchester and were just brilliant with me and um, they really helped me choose a pair of frames. I'm just so rubbish at knowing what suits me. They just made the experience just so much like pain free. It was brilliant. I managed to get myself a new pair of glasses thanks to the device in store. Um, the frame styler did tell me that I have a square shaped face. Uh, I've been told this before, but I like to pretend it's like heart or maybe even a little bit round, but no, it's square. Yeah, so if you have a square face like me, um, it showed me the types of angular glasses that actually suit my face shape. So I had to go for an angular pair. So in the end, I went for these, which have a lovely little cat eye finish at the top. Um, I always go for like a brown plastic frame and these are just fabulous. I love them. I'll put them on at the end so you can see what they look like. Um, what else have I been up to for the weekly vlog? I went for a blogger brunch at a place called Triciccio in Altrincham. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to dine out um, and I tried out their brunch menu with some fellow bloggers, um, which I'll be showing you in the video. I also got a little bit brave and did some indoor skydiving at a place called I Fly in Trafford in Manchester. Um, I was really scared. I, I wasn't before I went and then I got there and I just got really scared. But apparently I was good. I'm never good at active things. I'm never good at anything sporty or anything that involves a bit of skill or balance. But I was actually good at indoor skydiving. Who, who would have known? Um, so I'm going to be showing you a little clip about that later on. You'll just see me going into the pod, is it called? And the instructor is like holding my balance and basically I'm just like flying. <laughs> so I get like the the impression that I'm doing a skydive even though I'm not because it's indoor. Um, it was a really, really good experience and I actually got myself a certificate. Here we go. Emma Campbell has defied gravity at iFly. Um, and when I compared these little bits below, it actually done really well compared to some of the people in the group too. So who knew I had skills at indoor skydiving? incredible. Um, I also went to a Bobby Brown masterclass with fellow beauty bloggers in Manchester and it was so so amazing because obviously I am a makeup artist as well as a beauty blogger and lifestyle blogger so anything like that is just really up my street but it was just so nice to meet the team at Bobby Brown and they could go through their products with me. They had a bit, kind of a selection of 10 which are their can't live without range and I say it like that because Everybody has that, don't you? You have the products that you can't live without. 
They obviously have 10 main ones and it starts from the base, so they have a face base and then obviously it's your concealer, your foundation, then your bronzer, your blusher, your brow product, your eye product, your lip product. Um, when you think about it, you, you, you easily have 10, I mean I probably have 20, but you should have 10 really, 10 products that you can't live without. So Bobbi Brown ran a fantastic masterclass, I was so in my element, I love everything about makeup and it's nice to be on the other side of it. Uh, obviously being a makeup artist myself, I do tend to teach people the tips and tricks and I do tutorials etc etc. So it was nice to be in like the customer seat and learning from another expert's opinion. Um, I really loved it and I truly love the Bobbi Brown brand. It's been a favourite of mine for a long time and I always use um, a lipstick in shade Uber Pink on all my brides. All my brides love it on the trial and then they always go out and buy it themselves so they can keep it on the wedding day and top up their lips. Um, Fab, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of that this week. And that's everything, um, that's pretty much the week. Um, you might notice I've got a bit of a sassy um, leopard print dress on at the moment. Um, I'll do a full length for you, but just whilst I stand up right now, you can see this. Lovely little leopard print number. It's from a retailer online called Grassfields. And they sent me this, um, and I, well, I picked it, ideally to go on holiday. I thought that in the evenings on holiday, you know, when you want something a bit show-stopping, a little bit wow, well, I think that this is it. Um, I'm gonna be doing an outfit shoot with it on the blog, so it'll be over on whatemmadid.com with some proper pictures of this. But I thought I'd wear it today on today's video. So let's take a look at what I've been up to this week. Hi guys, it's a Sunday and I am off to a place called Triciccio, which is a, um, a restaurant and bar in Altringham. And I'm running late because I couldn't find any parking in Altringham. Um, so it's, I'm like 10 minutes late now, um, so I should really get off this video and start using my Google Maps so I know where I'm going. But it, just a little bit of an insight, it's a lovely bloggers brunch which has been arranged from my friend Georgie Glass who is also a fellow blogger and a photographer. So I'm going to show you what goes on at the Bloggers Brunch, some of the food that I am eating and yeah, I just need to put a bit of a quick pace on because I'm very late. to the bloggers brunch so that's okay not too bad and now I'm just heading off to my car and I'm gonna head back home and um, go and see my boyfriend and I think we're gonna go tile shopping which is very exciting not quite as exciting as a bloggers brunch um, yeah basically we're just um, having a new bathroom so tiles is the only thing that's outstanding just look where I'm going when I'm crossing the road um, yes yeah, so we might have a look around a few shops um, so I'm just going to head back off, but I had an absolutely lovely bloggers brunch. Um, there will be a blog post on it as well soon, which all links will be below. Good morning everyone, and today is Tuesday, and I have quite a few exciting things planned today. Um, the first one is I am in Manchester City Centre at the moment, so I've just parked up, and I am checking out Specsavers today to get a new pair of glasses, because I am so blind, and I wear contact lenses every day, and I wear glasses in the evenings when I take my contacts out, and um, basically just need, need to put either lenses or glasses in as soon as I wake up in the morning because I'm just so short-sighted it's a bugger anyway I've had my glasses which I actually have on me now these ones I've are they full of fingerprints sorry about that um, I've had these for a long time now probably about two and a half years which is terrible and um, so I'm off to Specsavers today to get myself a new pair of glasses but more importantly they're gonna help me out because they've got a system that is in their stores which is an in-store like a facial recognition recognition 
machine um, and what it does is basically it uses like analysis of your face to, de to determine what style of glasses actually suit you which is so handy for me because I just find that I really struggle with with the right type of glasses to suit my face shape I just I've just never really got it right and um, so I'm actually really interested to see what this install machine will show for me and I'm excited to actually get my hands on a new pair of glasses um, so I'll be showing you those um, after spec savers I'm going to bear I'm going to Slattery's which is a chocolate place where you can have all the cake and afternoon tea and the finest chocolates people travel a long way to go to Slattery's just for the chocolate and the cakes so I cannot wait I'm going there with my sister and two of my friends as a bit of a belated birthday treat um, so yeah all in all not a bad Tuesday
a little bit of a random week selection of things that I've been up to in the world of what Emma did. I've actually taken off my grass fields dress um, because we're actually in like a heat wave right now in the UK and I'm sat in front of my window to try and get some natural light and man it's hot, I'm absolutely sweating. Anyway, I just wanted to finish off the video with showing you my new glasses from Specsavers. Um, as I mentioned before, I use the in-store frame styler which um, scanned my face um, it kind of sh it's shown that from analysing the shape of my face that I have a square face and I should go for an angular pair of frames. The guy in store showed me all the ones that he thought worked well and we also went towards the ones that were recommended on the styler. And then I tried a few of them on, I always whittle it down to three. And then from the three, I um, whittle it down to two, then whittle it down to one. And then these one, what do you think? I really love them. Um, I always like a black plastic frame glass. Um, I normally go for a bit of a heavier type and also maybe a little bit smaller. So these are a lot bigger than I usually go for. Um, but I just like how they go up at the ends a little bit cat eye style. Um, they also feel quite light and I find them a bit unusual for me, like a bit of a different different type of glasses. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just really handy to have that device in store because it's just something that I go in there and you know when you just get overwhelmed with all the different types of glasses and it's just over your head. Um, so a huge shout out to the team at Manchester Arndale. I think they're one of the first stores to get the frame styler and try it out and see what everybody thinks. But from me as a customer, I absolutely thought it was brilliant. Um, I think it really, really helps me and it will help a lot of other people as well. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really, really happy um, with the service and the glasses that I've taken away. So I'll take them off because I've actually got contact lenses in right now, so those lenses are just sending, sending my eyes crazy. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. I'm off to pack my suitcase now and I'm off to Portugal in the morning. Um, so when I come back I'm going to do a fashion haul. I'm going to show you all the clothes that I wore on my holiday. Um, so the channel will be quiet for a week but I will see you when I'm back. Thanks for watching. Bye!